Don't be cowards. Whatever faces you will face it, squad. Yes. But you must make sure that you are facing it, you know, right, not wrongly. So be brave. When there is a situation and a sacrifice is required, whether it is of a voice or of an action, you know, or of money, be brave. Come up. Be the one. If even all others will be hiding and playing it safe, if you want to be different, if you want to be fortunate, be brave. Come out and speak your mind, you know, and follow the heart that is guiding you on the right path. Never be cowards. If you do that, you will be one of the greatest people in this country. The English have a saying. They say that fortune favors the brave. Fortune favors the brave. When you go for a battle and you retire after successfully, you know, defeating the enemy, and discussions are held about the battle, nobody will discuss the coward. Everybody will be discussing about the brave. And what role they played in, you know, winning that battle. So be among those that the society will be talking about you. Whenever your name is mentioned, they will talk about you positively. And you cannot do so without facing situations. Don't be the cowards that will be playing things safely, safely, safely. Number two, you must be honest. Dishonesty destroys everything. Be honest, be accountable, and be transparent. These are the things you need to succeed even in business. Once your customers know that you are reliable, they will always teach their attention. They will always buy your product. They will always associate with you. But once they know that you are not honest, everybody will run away from you in your business and you will just collapse after you are different. After you have shown and advertised yourself and people come and they realize that you are not honest, you lose everybody within a year. And that business is over. The same thing in government. Don't listen to people that will call you to laziness. You know, this salary that we are paid is not even enough, and so on and so forth. And then they refuse to go to teach. Some of them will turn up in their stations maybe only once in a year, or twice, or for 10 days, or for 13 days in a year. Why? Because they feel that the salary is not us, you know, they want. Give them a million naira, they will behave in the same way. Do yourself what I did in 1992. I was faced with the same situation as a university lecturer. I just finished my field work of PhD then. And I realized that the 1,000 naira that was paid to me as a salary, or in fact less, because what I was getting as gross was 11,900 and something per annum as a whole, naira, not dollars. And the naira was already being devaluated by almost six years then. So it is not the old naira of 
the shattered era. And I just told myself, I, I just can't continue. I should leave. And I left, and I had nothing in my hands. I had nothing. I had nothing. In fact, I had nothing except the furniture of my wife. I had nothing. But I believe in my capacity to survive. And I survived. And since the day I took that decision, my life has been different. That is what any one of you that finds himself in a position where his remuneration is not sufficient. And he cannot circumvent it through other means, through trading, farming, and so on and so forth. You don't have to keep that job. Do hijra. That is what the Quran tells you. Yes. Because you sit down and you don't teach and you collect the salary, that is haram. Islam is calling you to make hijra, to migrate, to where you will take halal. Because if you don't cheat, you are destroying the future of children and the society. Leave. There is wealth outside. Wunti Market is calling you. It is there. Open, go and get a shop there and try your luck. The farms are there. Achaba, uh, Kekenape, and so on, they are all there. I was doing Kabu Kabu with my car as a university lecturer. Every night in Zaria, every night, there is no place in Zaria that I don't know. I had to survive. Even when I left the lecture and I went to the Peduna, I was doing Kabu Kabu between Tudu Oda, Malali, Abdurrawa, and so on. Kawa, and so on, before I got my first contract. And since then, I dropped Kabu Kabu. Get a Kekena pen. Yes, write it yourself. You will make every month nothing less, less than 300,000 Naira. So why would you continue? Particularly you, the boys. <laughs> why would you continue, you know, to sit down, complain and complain on 30,000 Naira, 40,000 Naira? and then not teach, and so on. Leave that job of teaching to some others that will take it and teach. And go out and become rich. Nigeria is wealthy. We are 200 million people. We are the wealthiest in Africa. All you need is effort. But be honest, be accountable, very transparent with everybody, you know, and don't forget what has made you merit. I thank you very much for this invitation. Um...